Hey, what's going on guys? In this video I'll be showing you how to connect your PS Vita to AT&T's 3G uh, service. So, um, basically if you have a 3G enabled PS Vita, which if you want to find out, go and flip it over on its side and right here there should be a little, uh, little slot to open up. And then if you were to pull it out, which you shouldn't when the PS Vita is on, um, there should be an AT&T SIM card in there. So, uh, we're just going to go and put that little uh, door back on there. So let's go ahead and start it up here. Um, pretty simple. It uh, really doesn't take a whole lot of time. Uh, first, to make sure that you have the uh, mobile network in, uh, enabled, um, go and hold down the PS button. And this should slide up. You might not have ever even noticed this little menu here. Um, and just make sure mobile network that, that that is green, and then the bars are kind of lit up white. So we'll get out of that. And we need to go and find the network operator app. So go and open that up. And once you open that up, it'll go and take you to uh, the mobile network operator um, website. Uh, if you go and just do go to AT&T's website, go and press yes. And it's going to go and connect to the operator's website. Alright, uh, and now if you have an AT&T account, you can go ahead and uh, just add it to your account. Uh, if you wanted to set up a new one, which that's what I would do because I'm on Sprint with my iPhone, so uh, we just do establish a new prepaid account. Okay, and uh, now it's asking are you a new customer or existing customer. I'm just a new customer, so I'm just going get, to get your pass. Okay, now you just need to fill out some information, and I'll be right back when I have this all filled out. Alright, so now once you have all that filled out, you can scroll down just a little bit, and it says payment type. Uh, you can choose credit or debit card. Uh, you can do a PIN number, promotional coupon, uh, postpaid, personal or business uh, number. Um, we're just going to choose credit or debit. And here are the list of plans. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and just show these to you guys a little bit. Um, so five dollars if you want, just 250 megabytes for a full day, you can do that. <clears throat> Probably the most popular plan is the fifteen dollar plan for, which gets you 250 megabytes for 30 days. Uh, twenty five dollars will get you a gigabyte for three months. Uh, thirty dollars is three gigabytes for 30 days. Fifty dollars is five gigabytes for three days. And then here are the Data Connect Pass uh, global uh, setups. So. Uh, I'm just going to choose uh, the, or actually I'm going to choose the $5 one because I don't really plan to use it, and actually, okay, might as well go with that one, just have a month of AT&T's data. Um, <clears throat> and then basically it's just saying your plan will start immediately, uh, auto renewal will automatically be turned on, and there we go, so we can just press next. All right, and now we need to go ahead and enter our credit or debit card information. All right, so I just entered in my stuff, press next, and now it's giving me just a little list of uh, things that's uh, that I signed up for. And basically all we have to do is just check that box to agree to the terms of service. And now it's saying that your debit or credit card will be charged once you press submit. So uh, when we go in and do that, it will go ahead and charge the card and it will start your uh, service and that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions leave them down below but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.